We're going to go see some sand today. Hey Fox Sports, my name is Chris, aka TDR Explorer, and I help you plan the perfect trip to Asia and its theme parks. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our newest videos where we go to theme parks in Japan, mostly, and also travel around the country. But today we are heading from Osaka, where I am right now, all the way up to Totori, which is northwest of here. And we're gonna go see the sand dunes because that's what they're known for. And Totori is the least populated prefecture in Japan. And there's also a Starbucks there. <laughs> Totori was the last prefecture in Japan to get a Starbucks, which was in 2015 or something like that. I am taking advantage of the Kansai Excursion three-day pass. Now, typically this is only available for tourists and Right now, Japan is still closed to tourists, but they've opened up a lot of these passes to foreign residents who live in Japan, such as myself. So I bought the three-day pass, which is 10,000 yen, which is about 90-some US dollars, and I get unlimited travel on the JR lines in the Kansai area. And that includes going up to Totori. And going up to Totori, a one-way trip on the express is about 7,000 some yen. So round trip, it's about 14,000. So it pretty much pays for itself in one trip. So I'm actually quite looking forward to that. I've never been up there before. So it'd be really nice to do something different. <laughs> I'm heading to Shinosaka station to exchange for my pass, which I bought through Kluke, by the way. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I've, I usually buy tickets through Kluke for a lot of things. They even have tickets for Universal Studios Japan now. They weren't there for the longest time, but now they're back. So if you want an easier way to buy tickets for Universal, you can go and buy them through Kluke. And I trust Kluke. I've been using them for years. They're a wonderful service. <laughs> Again, this video is not sponsored, so Kluke, you're welcome. Reach out to me. <laughs> but we're heading to Shinosaka. We're going to get my pass, and then we're going to make a booking to get on the train to Totori. So let's do this. Made to Shinosaka Station. So here at the central exit or entrance of the Shinkansen is the uh, Shinosaka, the travel center, Shinosaka. And this is where I'm going to be exchanging for my, my ticket. There are other places you can do it, but this is the one I chose because it's most convenient for me. It's tucked away in the corner here, but you can't miss it. It's pretty clearly marked. <laughs> that was super simple. It took about eh, 10 minutes. Um, I think the girl that I spoke to didn't speak English, but they had English speaking staff there. But um, I, I did the whole thing in Japanese, but I, I'm sure if you ask uh, for someone that speaks in English, they should be able to find someone, hopefully. But it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. So I got my, my tickets and I, she booked the Shinkansen for me because I'm going up to Totori, obviously. So we're going from Shinosaka to Okayama and transferring there to go to Totori. So that's how we're gonna go. Okay, I got about 20 minutes, so I need to grab food. I'm hungry. <laughs> so we're getting on the Sakura 551 at 10.06. I don't have time for Starbucks, but I grabbed some stuff in the convenience store. So I haven't eaten today. Uh, we need to get to my platform. Got about six minutes. I've never been to Okayama before, but I'm not sticking around. I'm transferring now to Totori, and the total travel time, um, it was really nice. They gave me this piece of paper when I booked my ticket. When I exchanged my ticket, uh, the girl asked me if I wanted to reserve a ticket for today, and I said Totori, so uh, the route I'm taking is covered by the pass. I believe there's a faster route, but part of it isn't covered in the this pass so I couldn't take that one so this one's I think a little bit longer but from Shinosaka to here Okayama on the Shinkansen was 45 minutes 
I have a cheat sheet. <laughs> and then I'm transferring here to the Super Inaba that I already told you. Uh, from Okayama to Totori. And it's going to take about 108 minutes. So over an hour and a half. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. Looking forward to check out the sand dunes. And going to pop into the Starbucks. I did want to... I wanted to do the museum. But it closed starting today. Talk about terrible timing on my part. Oh, I think that's my train. It's not leaving yet, but I'm going to go hop on. There's only two carriages on this. <laughs> oh, it's cute. It's a cute little train. and it is snowing and raining. I knew it was going to be snowing so this is probably going to be snow dunes more than sand dunes but uh, the rain has me concerned but it should be okay. I have to figure out the bus and how to get there but you can see behind me here there's actually a temporary Pokemon store so they're probably going to have something to do with sand shrew in there. We'll have to check that out later. The next bus is in for another hour, so I'm going to hang around the station here. I think I will go check out that Pokemon store. I love it. I love it when they're aware. And this is a temporary Pokemon center. <laughs> I don't see any special limited edition stuff that would be unique to Totori. Or maybe they're sold out. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is all stuff that you can find at the other Pokemon centers. All the different plushes, mostly. The display is fun, though. All the different Pokemon. So there's a photo op right here with Pikachu. <laughs> That's adorable. So just a slight correction. There's, there's now two Starbucks in Totori that I saw. I opened up the map and I saw one that's a little further away. But this is the one right at the station that opened in 2015. It was a big deal back in 2015. I remember when it was in the news here. We're gonna pop in there, relax for a bit. The Starbucks here, I was hoping they would have the Sankyu mug. Uh, Sankyu is like the, the sand dune stuff, um, but they're sold out of the mug. I kind of thought so. I wasn't really banking on it. I figured it was going to be very popular since there's, I guess, two Starbucks here that would sell it. And I wanted to get the stamp and in the app, the Starbucks app in Japan. They have these stamps for visiting the different Starbucks stores and you can get them for visiting the different prefectures and everything. So, you know, I, I want to collect the stamps. Very clever marketing ploy. Works on me. Making my way down, down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that I don't know why that was funny. Making my way to the bus stop. So we're going to bus stop zero. And the woman that I asked, I asked the ticket counter tourist information people. Uh, she was very lovely and she explained everything very detailed to me, which was very nice. Uh, to take the bus. And it's gonna cost 380 and one way. They don't leave all that often but we're heading on over there. Hop on the bus and it's gonna take about 20 minutes. On the bus and it costs 380 yen and we pay when we get off. It's, uh, I have cash. It's not exactly the nicest day, but you know what? That's okay. I don't mind. Made it to the sand dunes. They are not snow dunes, but it is raining. 
I've never like I've never been here before, and I've I've always wanted to come. Now I can say I have. We're walking up up here to see the ocean. I am a mess right now. We're gonna walk up here. It was really windy at the top, so I wasn't gonna record me talking up there. There was no way that was gonna happen. It was way too windy, but I just took the time to enjoy myself, take in the view, see the ocean, see the sand blowing, almost losing my scarf, almost lost my phone at one point, <laughs> my umbrella broke, wonderful. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, I don't know why I thought, hey Chris, you know what's a good idea? An umbrella. I, yeah, I, I should have known it was going to be windy, but it was raining like really hard before I came out. So I thought, well, it would be a good idea. And then not two seconds after I got out here, the umbrella just like... I traveled two and a half, almost three hours just to walk some sand dunes. And you know what? I have zero regrets. This is great. I think it was worth it. I love checking out these these things. I just, I, I love it. And I have sand in my, I have sand in my, um, my shoes. I can feel it. I have to wash my shoes. Don't worry, if you need Wi-Fi in the sand dunes, Totori has you covered. <laughs> in the bottoms of my feet. Bottoms of my shoes. Good enough. There's my bus to get back to Totori Station. Inside here, they have a whole bunch of omiyage and there's a little restaurant in there. Uh, I don't have time to go in. I would love to show you around, but I need to get on the bus so I can get back so I don't have to wait another hour for the bus. Sunaba Coffee is a coffee place here in Totori. And Sunaba, that is sand dunes in Japanese. But oddly enough, it sounds like Starbucks. The way uh, you shorten Starbucks in Japanese is Sutaba, Sutaba, so Sunaba coffee. <laughs> I wanted to try Sunaba coffee, but uh, the one that's closest to here closed at four. So I'm not gonna be able to try it. Maybe I'll do it next time. And maybe I'll get myself some omiyage. Maybe I will. Yeah, I'll get some chocolates, coffee chocolates. Yeah, coffee chocolate sounds good. I love this. Sand shoe. Oh, they have both versions. And there's a photo stand. And it looks like it's made out of sand. Look at that. Oh, that is too awesome. And they have some cookies here. Huh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to, oh, I have to get some, oh, I have to, mm. I'm flabbergasted because this is so adorable. I think I want the photo stand because that is really adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to get back, I'm here at Totori Station and I took my pass and I went to the ticket office right there and I told her I want to head back to Shin Osaka and so I'm going from Totori to Okayama on the train that I took here and then switching to the Shinkansen from Okayama to Shin Osaka. So I'm gonna be leaving just before seven o'clock and I'm gonna to get to Okayama just before nine o'clock. And then I have, I think she said 15 minutes to transfer. Yeah, 15, yeah, about 15 minutes. Yeah, about 15 minutes to transfer, leave at 9.03 from Okayama to Shin Osaka. And that's how you use the, the rail pass. Do you think I was really gonna have a video without me eating something? So as a reward for you explorers who stuck around to the very end, you get to watch me try these sand shrew cookies. I bought them <laughs> and 
They look like they're in sand. I mean, that makes sense, right? I'm trying to do this one-handed, so, yeah. Look at that. That is so cool. They're cookies. My train's gonna be here soon. I do better when I'm under pressure. But let's try these cookies. Oh, they're, they're very powdery. There we go. Okay, let's try this. I'm, I'm gonna get it all over the place. Oh. Oh! Like a cinnamon cookie. That's really nice. Mmm. Mmm. It kind of reminds me of the powdered donuts. I used to eat those a lot as a kid. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. This is a good idea. Okay, my train is here. I need to go. Thanks for sticking around to the very end. I'm sorry for talking for my mouthful.